Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen doing what I do. And today we're gonna be cooking a nice quick family meal. I have the Stouffer's Meatloaf Family Size Oven Roasted Beef and Pork. Uh oh, meatloaf, almost dropped it. Stouffer's Quick and Easy Family Meatloafs. All right, I've cooked these before. I don't think I've cooked them for the channel. I've got two boxes. Let me show you guys. There's six loaves, six loaves in each box. And they're already like, you know, sliced up. It's like a meatloaf already sliced up for you. And I've got some Idahoan mashed potatoes, Hidden Valley with the season with the Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh, that's going to be good. Some meatloaf and ranch potatoes? You ain't got to tell me twice. I ain't never have ranch potatoes, but I think they're going to be good. So, we got those. And remember, y'all, your potatoes got to come from Idaho. I don't know. I've had some potatoes from Omaha. I don't know. Anybody can have potatoes, but... They supposed to come from Idaho, y'all. Anyway, all right, so let's get into it. Quick and easy. You can also cook this in the microwave, but I'm gonna put it in the oven. I like the way it tastes in the oven because the oven gives it like that nice oven roasted taste. Preheat your oven at 375. I've already done that. I've already done that. Let me show you guys how it comes. You guys can see, you kind of can't see, but uh, they've got them already pre-sliced for you into little loaves. It's six in each pack. And they're already in their little meatloaf gravy. So I've got my dish here. You can put it on a pan, you know, however you want to do it. But let's see if I can fit both of them in here. See if I can fit both. I don't know. I might not be able to fit both of them on here. Let me see. Okay. Let's squeeze. Okay. You keep your film on. You don't take your film out. You leave that on. You don't poke holes in it. Nothing like that. Just leave it like that. Okay. I was able to fit both of them on there. Okay, that worked. Okay. Hey, let me make sure they both fitting down in there good. Okay, yes, they are. Perfect. Okay, good. I thought this pan would fit both of them. All right, and I'm just going to pop this in the oven. And it says 65 minutes, but it ain't going to take that long. It'll probably take like 45 minutes. So, I'm going to get this popped in the oven. And then our potatoes are easy. Real easy. That's what I like about it. Two cups of boiling water. So, we're going to boil the water for two. Two, for two, I mean two cups of boiling water and then i'm just gonna add the uh packs so since i have two i gotta do help duh four cups of water four cups of water and then i'm gonna add both of these packs and that's it you just stir boil your water throw these in and you stir quick and easy it don't get no easier than this and you can have the knife roasted meatloaf and ranch potatoes yes that's what i'm talking about because i ain't got all day so let's get into it. I'm gonna get this meat up in the oven so it can cook on up. And like I said, you can also do this in the microwave for like 20 minutes. Uh, the directions. Let me read the directions real quick. Yeah, microwave for 18 minutes, but I'm gonna put it in the oven. <coughs> okay, you all. So, all right, let's get this in the oven, and then I'll be back to show y'all how we're gonna whip these um, potatoes up real quick. Ranch flavored potatoes, y'all. That sounds so good. I can't wait to eat it. All right, y'all. And let me give y'all that word of the day. That word of the day that God has been dealing with me on. He's been dealing with me about this all week. All week. Hmm. How can I say it to you all how God's been saying it to me? <sighs> okay. All right. So, God has been dealing with me on keeping your business to yourself. Let me just put it down. Put it straight out there for you all. We got to learn how to hush our mouth and keep our business to ourselves. Stop going around telling people our business. And then get mad when your business get out. You shouldn't have told it. You shouldn't have told it. Should keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth. Hush your mouth. I'm, I'm just talking about me. Okay. Just talking about me. Not, not you all. Just sharing that word of the day with you all. Learn how to keep your mouth quiet. And just keep your business to yourself. Stop going around telling your business. Talk to God about it. How about that? How about you do that? You want to talk about your business? How about you talk to God about your business? How about that? Okay. All right, that's the word of the day. Talk to God. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to God. Don't be going around telling all your business and then get mad when they get out. Okay. All right, that's the word of the day, you all. All right, let me get this in the oven, you all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to get the mashed potatoes done. Let me take y'all into the pot. We've got our four cups of water boiling. Remember, it's two cups per bag. I've got four cups of water boiling. All we're doing is just pouring in our mashed potatoes and that's it. I put a little salt in my water. I did about a teaspoon of uh, salt in my water. 
get our mashed potatoes in there. Let me cut cut this heat down too though. I want to cut this heat down because I already know how it's going to do. So, Oh, it smells all ranchy and stuff. Oh, child. It smells like I need some buffalo wings. Hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. I think I might have to add some more water to this. Because I got to add my second bag. Hold on. Hold on, you all. Because it's doing just what I thought it would do. Boiling like crazy. And I'm supposed to add this second pack in here. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Because I put my four cups of water in here. I think I might add a little milk. Get that stove time to calm down. Because. Y'all yeah, see. Okay, y'all can see. Alright, so I got my second pack of mashed potatoes. Stirring it in. I might add a little milk to give me a little bit more creaminess. But it smells real ranchy. You know, like I like I said, like I need some buffalo wings. Let me make sure you all can see. Hold on. Okay, yeah, y'all can see. Hold on. Take it in a little bit more. Okay. All right. Yeah, these too thick for me. I can add more water, but I'm going to add milk. I usually add more milk if my mashed potatoes are a little dry. And I like my mashed potatoes all creamy. I don't want them all thick like this. So, we're going to add a little milk. I've got that heat. Let me cut that heat down even lower. Okay. Hold on. You are holding on. I am going to add some milk to my mashed potatoes because, yeah. All right, hold on. let me get the milk out. Okay, add a little milk, because yeah, y'all doing a little too much. Uh, that's about half a cup of milk. Let me see how that does in there first. I'm gonna do half a cup, see how that does. And then I might add another half a cup of milk. Yeah, because I like creamy mashed potatoes. Yeah, we're going to have to add another half a cup of milk to this. Smells really good, y'all. I can't wait to taste them. I'm going to add another half a cup of milk to this. Can you all see? Yep. I'm going to add another half a cup of milk. stove off all right okay so that's a total of a one full cup of milk let's get that stirred up in there some people add more water but I like to do milk you know that way your potatoes don't lose their flavor you know if you put water it kind of waters it down you know so I'll add a little milk let's see all right that seems good it's still a little thick still a little too thick for me but let me taste them first before i add more milk so i might just leave them like this but you know if you want them more creamy you add more milk let me taste them first let's see how they taste mm, those are good mmm those are really good they got a lot of ranch flavor but they do need more milk and they need a lot more milk so i'm adding about yeah see they too dry too dry all right so i've added another like half a cup of milk we got to get these nice and creamy okay See, that's better all right so waiting on our meatloaf to get done i'm gonna finish stirring this milk in here y'all but they taste really good really ranchy and yes so y'all see me fix the potatoes quick and easy quick and easy boil your water throw your packets in if it's too dry add some milk half a cup of milk at a time until it gets 
to the consistency that you want. So, all right, you all, I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys, we are back for the grand finale. I just pulled the meatloaf out. Just wanted to give you guys a little peek to see what it looks like. Zoom you guys in to see how that meatloaf, you guys can see, is nice and hot and bubbly, bubbly. Now, let me pick one of the meatloafs up so you guys can see. It's like little little meatloaf half. They pre-cut it and everything for you. Let me show you guys. They are nice, juicy, and tender. Oh my goodness, y'all. So good. The meatloaf gravy is amazing. You get six in each one. You know, they have three here, three here. There's six in each one, and they are really good flavor like a home cooked meatloaf we've had these a million times they are really good you guys really really good so and this is by Stouffer's um Publix has their brand too um which is really good I like Publix they have a lot of flavor too but Stouffer's is definitely our favorite remember I have two of those and take y'all into those Hidden Valley Ranch mashed potatoes I put a little um little you know a little my little uh season my little why well, I can't remember Anyway, my parsley across the top there. So, all right, y'all. Y'all got it. That's it. That's all. Y'all seen me do it. So, you know I did it. Don't forget that word of the day. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.